Okay, so outside the cabin where I work from, I recently installed this Brabantia folding clothes dryer thing. It's under cover because we've got an overhanging roof here. And last night I hung these out. It rained, these didn't get wet. They continued to flap around in the wind and now they're dry. If I'd hung those on my other washing line, which generally would dry them a hell of a lot faster than this, they would have got soaking wet. So it's lovely to have this option, especially in England where it rains a lot of the time. Now the way electric prices are, I thought it was pretty important to be able to dry clothes wherever and whenever I can. So we've got an area in the house. I prefer not to dry them in the house because obviously that um, that moisture goes up, it tends to travel to the far end of the house and condense on the windows. Not good. I'll let, I've got a huge washing line uh, just over the bank side there. That gets a lot of wind. It's great on a sunny day, it dries no problem. This gives me a third option. And I really like having this option because it doesn't matter if it's slightly drizzling or if it's, you know, sun and showers. Under here, these clothes are still going to get dry. Some of you watching this on my channel might be thinking, God, what's he talking about? Where's the guns? Where's the fishing stuff? Where's the bushcraft survival stuff? Where's the innovative ways to grow vegetables during the winter? Well, you know, this kind of works in with all of that, especially because electric prices have gone through the roof. So the last thing that I want to do is use our tumble dryer, even on a night the cost of the electric is scandalous. So these are all dry, I'll just get them in and then we'll have a closer look at this folding clothes dryer. I'll just explain a little bit about the form and the function and then I'll leave you with my final thoughts. And for anybody not familiar with me or my channel, I work from home in here. Well, my home's over there, my workplace is here, about 20 yards away. So I'm very flexible with when I can put the washing machine on and it's generally when there's a bit of sun because we've got solar panels so it basically costs us nothing to wash the clothes other than the little tablet things that we chuck in and it should be costing us nothing to dry the clothes as well that's pretty important because a penny saved is a penny earned okay that's the clothes off it now I would normally take the pegs off but I'm going to see if it'll fold down with the pegs on never tried that before so it'll be worth a go um, this took approximately, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes to fit, maybe. Didn't take too long, but I did fit it without using the fittings that came with it. I'll quickly show you. So basically, the unit sits on a plate, and we've got a couple of screw holes up there, which are actually hidden, uh, and I've put the covers over these ones, but there's two screw holes here as well. So I fixed a hard bit of wood, onto my shed and I fixed the plate to that using 5x50 screws pretty easy although there was little rubber spacers uh, just behind each of the screws and they, they were quite difficult to keep a hold of whilst keeping a hold of this whilst trying to screw it in with the battery drill so it would be a lot easier if it was a two-man job one person just holding everything in place and the other person using the drill so that's it fully extended when we want to put it back, we just lift this up and then fold it back against the wall like that. Yeah, I think we can leave those pegs on as well. And then we've got our stretchy cover which goes over it. Like so, and everything else just tucks into here. There's a press stud up here and one on the other side as well. There you go, pretty neat, eh? That's really smart, it just keeps it all neatly tucked away and ready for the next time you use it. Talking of the next time we're using it. This is how easy it is to deploy. Undo those press studs, take the cover off, 
and we simply pull it out and then push up until that clicks I'll just show you that again there you go locked in place and ready for use yeah I don't know why I never thought of leaving the pegs on there every time I've been using it previous to making this video it just suddenly occurred to me now God, that could have saved me minutes every time I loaded up with washing. Now according to Brabant here, it's got 24 meters of line. If you had that on a straight washing line, you'd get a hell of a lot of clothes on it, but you wouldn't get the, well, you could get the equivalent on here, but it would be very close together and it wouldn't dry very well. So I tend to use every other line. Still quite a lot of drying space. That load of washing that I took off this was a load of washing it certainly would have got double that amount on no problem at all with plenty of space between the various garments so this is something i would definitely recommend if you're short of space or like me if you've got an overhanging roof and you want to mount it underneath there to dry clothes all the time i'll put a link to where i got this in the video description if i can remember where it was failing that i'll put an amazon link for the cost, I think it's well worth it. So check it out, see what you think, and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching.